I don't think there's any other coaches that are living with multiple girls, not even actually banging hot girls in the first place, in some cases ever, uh, actually most cases. But we can bring, <laughs> don't get me started. Uh, I was thinking, cause I was, I was like, hmm, we're gonna be able to have like three girls on camera or even more. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. And today I have two of the ladies from the house. We have a third moving in shortly, a blonde. We need, we're, we're looking for a blonde <laughs> to move in. <laughs> but we are all living in harmony. People are like, you need professional help. You need to do some inner work. And I think people like Hugh Hefner had a great life and we're, we're trying it out as well. With a lot of growing pains. So do you know what that means? <laughs> 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 so, okay, uh, so we'll introduce, you guys already know Liz, and we are going to call her Unique, because her name hasn't been doxxed yet. Thank God. <laughs> Damn, that's good. Mm. One day when her name has been doxxed, we can use her real name. So... <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, John, don't say that. It's going to like throw a challenge now. Now they're going to do that. Oh my God, challenge accepted, right? Okay, but, uh, let's see. So, I met Liz like right after I moved to Florianopolis in Brazil. We're living in Brazil. Those of you that don't know, we have a two-story penthouse. Even though I record in one of the rooms that has a desk, that is not a basement, it's not my mom's basement. I'm in Brazil in a <laughs> two-story penthouse. So, uh, Liz and I have been dating for a long time, for about a year and a half. And then this young lady, we met about, how long, five months? Yes. Five months ago? and she joined us in the house. And we've had some roommates come and go in the meantime, but we found a, a really hot blonde that we've known for maybe nine months that we, yeah. we took home from a, a brunch. That's probably like a 9.5 or so. And her vibe will fit in nicely. There's four bedrooms in the house, so there'll be three girls in bedrooms and myself in bedrooms. But we might eventually expand. Like we had, uh, this past weekend, we had four Brazilians including these two. There were two extra Brazilians and a Colombian was here as well. And the girls were all dancing on the pole and I might be able to roll some, some footage. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> and, but it was just like a sex fest, like all weekend. Yes. Where she, at the end of the weekend, she was like, how many times did you have sex? And we're like yeah. count, counting all the like variations of threesomes and foursomes, fivesomes. <sighs> Damn exhausting. Yes. Um, thinking what a higher life. What was I going to say? We even, we even played uh, basically like strip Mortal Kombat, where the rule was we all started fully clothed, and then if you lost, you had to take off a piece of clothing. And no one beat me, so you guys ended up naked. Yes, and I lost a lot. <laughs> That was so mean. I mean and they were trying. Nice. They were trying to like. That was so mean. I was saying like, go ahead, Liz. Come on, go, go more harder. Go, go, go harder. And there was <laughs> and there was another. Uh, what's it called? There was another girl here that was. This was like at the end of the night last night, and there was still one of the Brazilian girls here uh, with fake boobs as well. And the two of you were like in front trying to distract while I was playing against her. Mm -hmm. And it was really awesome. It was actually pretty distracting. <laughs> she almost beat me a couple times. Yeah, yes. so it was like sometimes it was close. that critical point. One's like <laughs> one more, and he would like yeah. be defeated, but it didn't work. Um, okay, so we had a bunch of video topics that we're going to be putting out. Uh, we wanted to do a video about uh, how we had three five sums in one week, where we that was like two weeks ago, mm -hmm. where we brought home two girls from the club. The redhead and her friend. So there's some nice stories there and just other random. Basically, we're, we're inviting other girls over and then, and then sometimes they bring friends and this and that. And we're meeting girls from Cold Approach. Like the girls were here this past weekend. One of them we met on the beach. Yes. One of them we met on Tinder. She just started yeah. her own new Tinder account. Uh, one we met, the Colombian girl we met at a cafe mm -hmm. while she was waitressing. And then, where was, there was one other one. Who was the other one that was here? I'm trying to think. Uh, Beach, Tinder, on the street. It's a lot of girls. Oh, and then the one moving in, we met her at a brunch. So basically just from different cold approach situations and the Tinder stuff, um, we're just bringing girls in. And usually like we get them to like, like on her new profile, like, like the one Tinder girl that, that came the first time. She told that girl, like after they had planned set, like, oh, I live with a guy and like he's cool and send pictures. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, oh, he's cute, blah, blah, blah. And then we're like, by the way, Here's Liz, and by the way, here's this Colombian girl, and by the way, there's this other girl. Yeah. People just kept showing up. But yeah, that's what we do. We just like mix and match it. It's all, we all like act like it's no big deal. 
And a lot of, but a lot of these girls, like your guys' first threesome is with me. Yes. Right? Yes. But like, um, same thing with a lot of these other girls as well, is that they end up, you know, trying some of the stuff for the first time and they like it and they come back and we end up making group chats with these girls. We gotta make a group chat with the, with the mm -hmm. Tinder girls here. Yes. And so we have like different group chats with each one of these girls and then we orchestrate setting up threesomes and mix and match for foursomes or five sums, et cetera. And you're always bitching about, uh, you don't like foursomes, right? I don't like foursomes. Cause when, cause basically- I just had this in the other videos. I don't like foursomes <laughs> or maybe- Any even, sums. any even numbers is basically cause it's people like pair off. So like when there's three or when there's five, everyone's interacting. But when, with the foursome, it's like, Two and two, and, and then it's like yeah, just hooking up. It's like another kind of. It's like hooking up on one on one, and then like switching and, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different. It's like. Yes. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna do a video talking about the five some experiences. We're gonna do a video about how these girls are going to try out an OnlyFans. They're gonna try that profession. I think not showing any nudity, at least at first, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> and. So I'm going to be announcing that and we'll, we'll show their channels in a video this week. Um, I also want to do live Q&A because they both speak English. It would be cool to do a live Q&A maybe like once a week because not, I don't think there's any other coaches that are living with multiple girls, not even actually banging hot girls in the first place in some cases ever, uh, actually most cases. But we can bring... <laughs> Don't get me started. Uh, I was thinking because I was, I was like, hmm, we're gonna be able to have like three girls on camera or even more, and we have all this like lifestyle stuff we're doing. I'm starting to put stuff on YouTube Shorts. We're building up my Instagram again because my old one got banned. I posted like 300 closes in a row, and then it got like mass reported at the talk I gave in Poland. But we're gonna get, we'll do live Q and A's where the girls can um, answer questions as well on, on YouTube Lives. We will do the OnlyFans announcement, the five some stories, and then just like general lifestyle things about how, I mean, I'm, I'm basically teaching them like basic level games so that they can run tech scripts. It's kind of, it's really cool actually, because it's just like training a student, but they have a lot higher compliance. There's like very little objections, et cetera, because, you know, there's, it's a girl. Most objections stem from wanting to know that the person's high value enough or not weird or not creepy, et cetera. So since these girls are already approved of me, other girls, it bypasses their uh, value approval circuitry and like their safety approval circuitry and this and that so and I'm basically like in whenever we go out and do cold approach or if we have if they invite girls over the house but I invite most of the girls I think I mean that might hopefully we can change that soon <laughs> She's, she was on a roll you how many phone numbers did you get the first day on tinder uh, at first yeah. she was how many oh uh, thank no, it got up to like 13 no, or 14 you're talking yeah weird. Weird. like count was like 14 or something because I lost the count but like basically, like she made an, she made a profile. Like you made it as a girl, so you can girl. Yes. And so like, I was telling her like you're gonna run into lesbians and you're gonna run into couples, but the rule is like, she can't meet up with the girl unless the girl's down to hook up with me as well. And like half of the matches were couples trying to do the same thing that that we were doing, and then also, and we've done this before too. Yeah. We just don't want to like make it intimidating words because we tried that with one girl and she was like, oh, I'm a little nervous, because we were like, hey, um, it was from my own personal Tinder. I'm like. I'm like, hey, I'm with a, a female friend. The way I always set it up for me and her, I'm like, I'm with a female friend. She thinks you're pretty. Do you want to see pictures? And I sent, she's like, wow, she's really pretty. I'm like, yeah, she lives here. I'm like, another girl lives here too. Do you want to see pictures of her too? And I'm like, here they are. And she's like, wow, she's pretty too. And then she's like, it was just what I thought. It's basically too much of a compliance jump too soon. It's like yes. making her like sign up for a- What was the last girl from your Tinder or from hers? That's from, uh, from hers. That was like the oh, first- Oh, the, 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 the Bruno the Weekend? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That was her. That was her first girl that she had over off Tinder. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But that. But that first day, like, she was not really getting many phone numbers. She was getting a bunch of matches. Then you're having conversations leading to nowhere, kind of like what like most student guys do. Never yeah. You didn't. She didn't know anything. So I was like, here, use these scripts. And then she started getting a lot of phone numbers. And I'm like, use these scripts to set up the dates. And she started like sending mm -hmm. videos of our place. And then it just became machine like, like very very quick. Which is the same thing that happens when guys jump on my mentorship or on my if they purchase a leads machine product. Which by the way, we'll put the link for the free 30 minute call to go over the mentorship stuff and also for the, the leads machine course, which is my texting blueprint. And both those courses, you plug into the text instantly. So she just got access to those and I didn't even send her all of them. I just sent her like the key ones over, over WhatsApp and then like boom, boom, boom. And then she ended up like 14 numbers, which is a lot for one day. I tell guys in my mentorship course to shoot for at a more advanced level, like 15 to 20 numbers a week. And then they plug into my text scripts that sets up all their dates. 
in public and date straight to the house. I teach them how to run the dates, close the dates, and then keep the girls around. Um, but yeah, we have a bunch of various topics. Also put in the comments what you guys would like to see done. This is kind of a unique situation in the fact that I can show basically like how to close back at the house from a high level. I won't give away everything. And obviously we won't engage in sexual activity on YouTube, but we can do like, <laughs> we can do, uh, maybe we will. Do it. Oh my god. <laughs> no, fire, my off, god. fire off some guns, go down. Oh them. my god. <laughs> no, baby. Why? Damn. I'm like, we're going out with the bang. Yeah. Alright, <clears throat> so, <laughs> it'd be pretty funny actually. If I make national news. Like, man sacrifices YouTube channel to make a statement. So, put in the comments what you'd like to see. Please like the videos that you see with the girls so that we can encourage them to come back. We want these videos to be popular, not, not just like regular views from normal videos because it's taking up their time as well. I'm speaking most of this video, but we're gonna give their insights into this lifestyle, the John Anthony lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. um, and we'll give updates on their OnlyFans and this and that. And also we have a stripper pole in the house upstairs with the, equipped with blinking lights and all this and that. So we'll be able to have the girls dancing on the stripper pole. They're taking pole dancing classes. <laughs> so I learned my lesson, like I, I've made like multiple monogamous girlfriends strippers in the past. I've told them the horror stories. Then they get put in these situations where guys are harassing them and being creepy and this and that. And I've turned ex-girlfriends into, into webcam girls and this and that. And I always end up regretting it because it just gets like out of control where, you know, they're getting pressured to use drugs or like, you know, they're always being having all this fucking annoyance and, and creepiness thrown at them and guys trying to find out where they live and guys pushing tons of money in their face and this and that. They're gonna do the, the OnlyFans, just sharing pictures and what? Basically our lifestyle, like why they live here. Sharing like our experiences over here. Yeah, so, it, so it'll be- like something different. Yeah, and it'll be like tightly like intertwined with like how I'm living as well. It's not just gonna be like what these are girls are doing separately. It'll show us all doing stuff together. You know, we have, Sometimes there's like a whole bunch of girls here in bikinis and shit like that and we have because yeah. we have like the big roof deck upstairs with the jacuzzi and we do barbecues and it's not. So we'll document all this stuff going on. No one's doing anything close to this. We, we were counting on a whiteboard. Um, our first threesome was like May of last year of 2020 and we counted a couple months ago. There was like 32 girls, 32 new threesomes and we've had a bunch more like 10 to 15 or so. A since then, more, we're, we're more probably coming up on 50. Every week there is like at least like four like different. Yeah, ones. and it keeps being like spontaneous too. Normally there'll be like a girl here and then we like call up some other girls that even like new girls mm -hmm. or like we had like a, a lunch thing mm -hmm. and like one of our friends brought her friend mm -hmm. who I had already banged through a summer mm -hmm. thing. But then we ended up having three some yes, with her and, and then it was so random and then it turned into a five some with you and the other girl. the street again, remember? Yeah. Went to her like workplace and then like there she was, and I didn't know that, and I, I guess you knew that, but you didn't remember that. Yeah. And then you took me there, and then like, all these things, so. Yeah, no, it's just funny when there's like seven or eight girls here, and I've banged all of them. And then mm -hmm. we don't really have any guys come over. I mean, like once in a while, a guy friend will come yeah. just hang out with me, but like when we have like parties and shit, and we're all hooking up, it's just like me and a whole shitload of girls. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> But it's, <laughs> but it's funny because we all like joke around. The girls were like, oh, he has the best life and like this and that. And, like, and guys watching are probably like, oh, like what is it about you? Like, because guys always, always assume like, oh, you must be paying these girls. Or like he must be like, you know, this is all just a prostitution thing. Like what girls want to do that? Or someone wrote in a comment on one of the shorts already, some fucking feminist woman. She's like, oh, like. Uh, what kind of girl would tolerate this? And like, this guy needs professional help and this and that. But what's cool is like, it's all like a nice, it's almost like a family or something, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where like, we like support each other when one had problems. Like when, mm -hmm. when she was like, like she, she got boobs recently with it. <laughs> she's like, she was like laid up in the bed and was like, couldn't mm -hmm. move and all this stuff. That's hard. And like, you know, it's just like, um, we all like, look out for each other and help each other and this and that. And then the girls we have over, we become close with them. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, do you guys hear that? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, um, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> yeah, that was creepy. No, we live, we live in a nice area. We don't usually hear blood curdling screams. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? So yeah, the girls come over, we get pretty close with them. Like that, that new girl that came over, she spent like a day and a half here. 
Yeah. She got here in the afternoon, spent the whole rest of the day, and almost the entire next day as well. And that's what happens is they, they usually come here. And, it, and our house is like the fun house because like we'll be watching movies, we'll be going in the jacuzzi, girls will be dancing on the pole. Um, Playing video games. Yeah, we just got a like a 6K drone. We're flying around that almost crashed. Tries. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, and then we go to the beach and stuff and we, we just, we all just go do, and go do fun stuff. And then people want to just be part of that. Like the Colombian girl, she's like, oh, I feel like I'm just like so free at your house. Like no one can judge. Like um, everyone's just like super cool with each other. Everyone, it's just like a nice, happy environment. Not like in a hippie way, like, oh, good vibes only, man, whatever. Like, but it's more just like, everyone's just like cool. And it's like very open that, like, you know, playing Mortal Kombat or whatever, all you guys are like going down to me and making out and stuff. And she's like over here. Or there, you know, there's like five girls in the big bed. And it, it's just cool because we like all like plan activities together and we'll, we'll sleep, the girls in the house all sleep in the same bed with me. And it's nice. So do you guys have any input to add about anything that I talked about? No, I think that pretty much summarizes everything. Yes. Okay, so they'll be talking more in, in future videos on the specific yeah, topics. But leave comments. We want to know your opinion, like what you guys expect, you know? Mm -hmm. That would be nice. Yes. Yeah, so put in the comments what kind of videos you'd like to see. For now, we're going to tell different five sim stories, which we're way behind on because there's been. So the first five sim I ever had was October and my birthday last year. We had had um, basically my, my friend brought these. Is it three girls? Two girls? Two girls. Two girls. Well, he was dating one, and then it was her two friends. Yes, yes, yes. And so we ended up, on my birthday, we ended up, me and her had a threesome, like, during my birthday party with one of the girls in that extra two that were brought in that group. And then her roommate, like, wanted to join in later. And then we also had, like, this 18-year-old fuck buddy that was for us two on her way over to visit us after she got off work. And then it just ended up being like all five of us and that was my first five some but in the past month we've had what like five of them four or five of them mm -hmm. maybe more yeah maybe more because it's like mix and matching how many times have we had five sums in the past month <laughs> we have a crazy week <laughs> we've been two weeks ago like super crazy weeks like the past but this past weekend yeah the past the two past, or three weeks yeah the past two or three because like the thing is it started like when we took those two girls home from the club like it's yeah. basically if we pull a two set, it becomes a five sum. If we invite like a girl and her friend, it becomes a five sum. If we invite a girl from a three sum, another girl for a three sum becomes a five sum. Yes. So it's really, you know, it'd normally be like a three sum for me, but then we have these girls here already, and then it turns into a five sum. So fun times. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to learn how to create a lifestyle like this, yeah, we're coming up on almost 50 threesomes. I'm thinking most of the coaches have probably never had any. Most of the advanced guys that know in the game, I'll tell you their names after, but like I know a 400 count guy and a 500 count guy that are two of the best guys I know in the game. One's only had one threesome in his whole life, the other's had zero. And they, it's like their dream. It's like a lot of guys like dream on their bucket list. And I've been doing this shit for a long time. Like I had my first bisexual girlfriend like about 12 years ago, 13 years ago where we were bringing other girls on the side and stuff like this. So this has been, not at, the, not at this level, though. I wasn't doing like 45 of them in a year. Oh my God, <laughs> I mean, most guys aren't, aren't even doing 45 new girls in their lifetime. <laughs> it's become like different metrics of tracking, like threesome count. But anyways, uh, if you'd like to learn how to create a lifestyle like this or just how to optimize and master the whole game in its entirety, please jump on a free 30 minute call with me personally or one of my coaches and we'll show you how we can get you very good very fast. Also, please subscribe below if you have not already and look out for lots of new videos to come from these ladies. So thank you guys. Okay, thank you. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take thank care. You. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt, son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum